Already faltering, plans for a ceasefire to halt months of fighting in eastern Ukraine are under fire. Russia's foreign minister warning that Ukraine's ambitions to join NATO are a blatant attempt to derail any peace talks. Undeterred, Ukraine's president Thursday sits on the sidelines of the NATO summit in Wales. Before official proceedings began, Petro Poroshenko held talks with US President Barack Obama and leaders of four major European powers. NATO officials make it clear that membership for Ukraine isn't on the cards anytime soon, but the alliance is expected to increase its support for Ukraine. The NATO Secretary General accusing the Russians of continued meddling. We are still witnessing, unfortunately, uh, Russian involvement in destabilizing the situation uh, in uh, eastern uh, Ukraine. Warily watching from rebel-held areas of Ukraine, residents doubt NATO will be able to bring them any help. NATO? NATO? Why would we need it? We need Russia. We need a union with Russia to trade, to make income. And NATO? Why would we need it? Pro-Russian separatists have been fighting government troops in eastern Ukraine since mid-April in a conflict that the UN estimates has killed nearly 2,600 people. Rebels have made substantial advances in the past two weeks, raising concerns that they're aiming to take control of Mariupol, a major port city of about half a million people, and secure a land corridor between Russia and the Crimean Peninsula. Along the main road connecting Mariupol and Donetsk, more clashes. Rebel fighters were seen moving nearby, indicating they could be trying to take control of this strategically important highway. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.